everyone knows that once you have gun owners on a list, registration leads to gun confiscation. Right. That's the end goal of the Democrats. This is exactly what they want. Hey guys, it's Antonia Okafor Cover here, and I'm here for J Gun Owners of America. And today I have a very special guest. I have Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Congresswoman, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Antonia. I'm yeah. so happy to be here. I'm so glad to finally meet you. So many people know you as MTG. I don't know. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe you, don't <laughs> no. you, you prefer the Marjorie Taylor Greene, but it's so great to have someone with uh, initials on our side. You know, fighting <laughs> Absolutely. For our side. <laughs> Abs we're on the good side. Yes, so we're on the good side. Yes. yes. I'll, I'll be the three initials on the good side. Yes, I love it. We need it. And we need you, and we need people who are standing up for the Second Amendment, especially, especially in days like this. Um, we have administration that is very anti-Second Amendment. And so I am so glad that we are able to talk to you today about the Second Amendment Preservation Act, which is H.R. 993. Yes. Can you talk more about that and this great bill that you just introduced not too long ago? Yes, I'm very proud of it. So this is a bill that does exactly what our Second Amendment does. This mm -hmm. bill protects our Second Amendment in every single way because it cuts off all federal funding to gun control. Okay. This is what the Democrats want. We constantly hear it from them. For years we have been hearing it and it gets more extreme and extreme and extreme. Right. All they want to do is move towards completely confiscating America's guns. And, and we as women, right, we are some of the most blessed women in the world to have the right to bear arms. Um, mm -hmm. So many women in other countries, extreme dangers, uh, maybe the type of governments they live in, they have no way of protecting themselves, and, and these are people in other countries. I mean, imagine Koreans would love to have gun rights. You know, there's all these people all over the world that would love to have gun rights so their governments can't run them over. That's what our Second Amendment is for. Absolutely. Um, but no, the Democrats who are showing exactly who they are with the extreme radical uh, agenda that they're shoving through so fast are showing that they're truly a tyrannical government and they really want to take away our guns. Absolutely, and tyrannical government is what the Second Amendment is all about, right? Yeah. Is to make sure that we, the people, are able to protect ourselves against a tyrannical government, an oppressive government. Yes. And so um, you were talking about the, the, the funding aspect. Mm -hmm. So can you talk more about, that's a key central part of this bill. It's very easy, actually, a pretty short bill because it just <laughs> focuses on, like you said, um, the funding essentially things like the ATF Right? Yes, the yes. Funding any type of federal, um, let's just say, enforcement of any type of gun control. Can you show, can you tell us how that is going to be central to this bill? Absolutely. So every type of gun control, it costs money in order to uh, follow through with it. So the ATF, for example, it costs money for the ATF to run as an, as an entity. Defunding the ATF takes away that entity. Mm -hmm. So defunding any type of regulatory agency that would, would crack down on gun owners ends that agency. And so taking away the money means that they can't enforce gun control. And that's the best way to do it. That's the best way to preserve our Second Amendment is take away the money that is funding the gun control. All right, defund the ATF. So many people mm -hmm. have been saying that for a long time and it's so refreshing to have someone to actually, you know, go um, and actually defund the ATF. Well, this is this, these are the games that need to stop. The Democrats just constantly come up with uh, more bills and more laws that they want to pass to truly take away our gun rights. And here's the deal. Second Amendment says shall not be infringed. Very easy. And so that's why I'm right. so proud of the Second Amendment Preservation Act. It truly does that. It, it stops them from infringing on our gun rights. Right. It's clear and simple. And mm -hmm. so that's why any gun rights bill should be clear and simple like this one is. It's exactly take away gun control at every level, which it shouldn't be at any level. Um, and so thank you so much for that. And then also, I just wanted to talk more about like what, you know, so many people know you as just this outspoken, passionate person. And, you know, just as another woman who is just admires you and looks up to you, what would you say is the driving factor, that common denominator for you that gives you that, that passion and strength to keep telling people the truth? I, I am truly proud to be an American woman and I love our country and I love my life. And I, I believe I've had the greatest life because of our freedoms and because of our constitution. 
and, and because we're all equal in this country and we're given the ability to pursue happiness. We're guaranteed that right. And I, I just, I can't unsee the dangers that I see coming from the Democrat Party. I can't unsee their, what their agenda will do to my life in the future, but more importantly to my children's lives. And you know what drove me to run for Congress was the first two years under President Trump, the Republican Party failed us so badly. We controlled the House, we controlled the Senate, and we had President Trump in there who had a pen in hand ready to sign into law all of the things that he cam had campaigned on, America First policies, and that the American people were screaming for. And um, I've been a business owner for 20 years. Uh, my husband and I both, we know how to get the job done out in the field. We know how to serve our customers. We know how to take care of our employees. We know how to raise our children. And we have dotted every I, crossed every T, paid our taxes and followed all the rules. But then here's a government that's just failing us continually. And most of the time it's Republicans who are failing. Um, we know who the Democrats are. They tell us straight to our face. Their, their radical agenda, we completely oppose it, but when we have Republicans that don't follow through and do the things that, that they tell us they're going to do, like protect our Second Amendment rights, these are important issues, but when Republicans fail, that's when I decided, okay, maybe we just need regular people there who, who I, I'm not impressed with Washington, D.C. And, um, you know, so I decided to run for Congress and and I'm not here to, I have got plenty of friends here, but they didn't vote for me. I, I got mm -hmm. voted to come here by the people back home and we got a lot of gun owners in my district yeah. <laughs> and we care about our rights. And so I'm coming here and I'm following through and doing everything I said I would do. And this is why I have the support that I have. And I am begging and pleading for more people to join me. Um, it's not about me. It's about doing the job that we should do here and, and we have to save our country. So those people who, who have given you flack for being very vocal about your very strong, um, your strong stances on, your, on these takes, what would you say to those people who, who don't like the strong stances? Well, I, I think they don't like the truth. And you know, mm -hmm. here's the deal, truth hurts. I know every time when I needed to hear the truth and I didn't wanna hear it, boy, it was hard to listen to. But the truth is exactly what we need in this country and we haven't had it for a long time. The media lies to us every day. They spin the story that they wanna tell. They've done it on me over and over. They did it to President Trump for four years and they continue to do it. They, they do that to anyone they don't like. And, right. and so I, I think America is desperate for the truth. You know, it's, it's amazing that when I argue back on the Equality Act, and I'm saying that God created us male and female and in his image he created us, that that was the most uh, uh, offensive thing that the Democrats could possibly hear. And when I told a story about a woman who was stabbed to death in her driveway by her deranged ex-boyfriend while she was waiting on her gun permit, her waiting, she was following these laws, this waiting for this uh, background check and this waiting period in, in New Jersey, in her state, this woman who had a security system and a video camera outside her home, and she got stabbed to death, murdered her in her driveway, and her security system video camera caught her death. And that's how they knew who, who killed her, her ex-boyfriend. When I talk about that on the floor, uh, they're without excuse. And, and so what I have to say that with anyone that's having a hard time, with, with me refusing to back down is, well, you know, that's okay if it hurts your feelings because oftentimes if, if, you're, not, if you're not in line with the truth, it does hurt your feelings, but you'll be okay. We need, to, we need to get back to our principles. We need to focus hard on our country and our own people, and that's every single one of us. And so I'll be defending everyone's rights and everyone's freedoms, and that goes for everyone across the aisle. Democrat, Republican, or who cares? Absolutely. So I think and it's well, a good thing to do. Thank you so much, Congresswoman Green. <laughs> and for those who, if you were to say one action, what do you think that people should be doing right now? If they can just take have one takeaway from this. Mm, I keep telling people, do not give up. A lot of people are down right now. They're worried. They're concerned. They're 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 just complaining on social media. Da, 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 you know, on and on about 
what the Democrats are doing. They're just outraged constantly. Here's, the, here's what I'm saying. I stepped out of my awesome, fabulous, wonderful life and ran for Congress, and I'm giving up a lot to be here. So if you're someone at home, hey, start, start volunteering. Get in there at the election board. Get a part-time job there. Work in there or volunteer on elections. Run for the school board. Stop the woke progressive agenda in our children's schools. Mm -hmm. Get in there and get on the school board and fight back. City council, county commissioner, you name it. Go on up the board. Don't take no for an answer, but we have to turn our outrage and, and our complaining into action. So we need Republican voters to stop with the excuses of I'm too busy or I have to work and you gotta stop complaining and start becoming Republican activists because that's how we're going to save our country when we get off the couch and get into action. Right, and support people like you, MTG, of course. Please. <laughs> <laughs> and we I need, need help. You. Run for Congress Absolutely. and get up here. <laughs> we need people to call their congresswomen and men and tell them we need to be on board with things like the Second Amendment Preservation Act, yes. which is H.R. 993. And I'm so thankful for you for joining me today and talking to me more about the Second Amendment Act. So one thing I'm really, really excited about is that, um, you know, that not only are you obviously a woman, right? This is, this is the left loves to bring up that fact when you're a woman, you're a congresswoman, but if you think on the right, then therefore you're against feminism, right? Yeah. But if anything, like I always tell people is that gun rights are women's rights. Oh, so and true. And like you were talking about, like my parents are from Nigeria and yeah. they're from, from a place where they didn't have the, the advantage of having a government that actually protected their Second Amendment right. Mm. So when you talk about protecting those in the womb, when you talk about protecting women like that mm -hmm. woman that was unfortunately harmed because of an ex-boyfriend, mm -hmm. or um, I don't know if you know about Nikki Ghoster's sto story. From I know Nikki. She's okay. a friend of mine. Okay, yes. and, and the fact that she's also, um, she's an advocate for the Second Amendment because yes. of things like that. You are protecting women. You are protecting yeah. Americans. You're protecting human rights, period. Absolutely. Um, so I just want to thank you so much woman to woman, um, <laughs> thanking you for protecting us and protecting um, our, our rights. We have to. It's, it, we have too much to lose. Thank you so much. Well, I will talk to you again later. Thank and you. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. We'll definitely do it again.